this thing is a little bitch. Hey there, my name is Jonathan and welcome to Just Eyeball. Today I am going to be making one of the few things that makes me proud to be a Quebecer. Poutine. Now if you're from anywhere other than Canada, which most of you are, you might be wondering, what the fuck is poutine? This is poutine. It is a heavenly mixture of cheese, sauce, and french fries that other people in the world have a tendency to completely screw up. And it can't be just any kind of cheese. It has to be this. Oh, the exposure's way too high for you to see what this is. This kind of cheese. They're called cheese curds. I don't know if you can get them in other parts of the world, but if you can't, do your best. So the first thing you have to do to make poutine is make the french fries. I didn't have any pre-made ones, so I cut up some potatoes and made these things in the oven. This will basically be the same thing. Better tasting french fries equals better poutine, so I think I'm on the right track. Next you have to heat up the poutine sauce. Now this almost certainly doesn't exist in the US, but I mean you could use something like hot chicken sauce or anything brown. I, you're gonna have to improvise. Alternatively, order some on Amazon or something. That's not weird at all. So you start by taking your can opener and you do the can opening things and then you turn it. Home ec, everybody. This tastes exactly like the barbecue chicken sauce at Saint Hubert. Barbecue chicken sauce probably works. You're gonna heat this shit up. It's important to make your sauce piping hot because you want to melt your cheese. Otherwise, it's weird and it tastes cheap. And now we wait. See, look, this is what the cheese looks like. Absolutely strange and disgusting. While we wait, how about I take the time to teach you a little bit of French? If you really want to sound like a pro, don't pronounce it poutine, pronounce it poutine. And this here isn't a pineapple. It's an anana. This isn't a bowl. It's a bowl. And this isn't a kiwi. It's a kiwi. As you can see, you can say everything exactly the same, except pineapple. Just make sure you put on your accent. Okay, the sauce is almost ready. Time to put some french fries in our bowl. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good amount. Sure. Oh wow, I'm eating so many carbs. You then put little bits of cheese in here. Make sure you put it everywhere, not just on top. If you're just putting it on top, then you're one of those shitty fast food chain makers who doesn't know those were words. No offense to people who work in fast food, but if you're putting the cheese on top of the fries and not anywhere else in the fries, then you're not making it right. Just saying. We then take our piping hot sauce and pour it all over everywhere. No, no, stop dripping. Stop, stop. This is what it looks like. I just realized that you couldn't see anything this whole time. Wow, I am such a good cooking show host. Some people put other stuff in their poutine, like smoked meat or bacon or chicken, or pretty much anything. This is very convenient when visiting Montreal because we're known for our smoked beef and our poutine. So if you put both of them together, you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. Why not put bagels in there too? Hey, maybe even maple syrup. All right, time to try it. It looks glorious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. It's good. It's really good. Make this, okay? Bye! Yeah, so it turns out what I said before was really true. Better fries does make better poutine. I mean, the sauce is a little bit weird because it came from a can, and I don't know how to make it not from a can, but hey, this is good. Make this. Tell me how it turns out for you, okay? Anyway, take care. Bye!